This is the first time in the history of Kenya that a person seeking to be the president of Kenya went to every corner of the country and asked people, if you elect me, what do you want me to do for you? If you elect us, what is your expectation? Because there has always been this arrogant disposition of us in leadership thinking we know what Kenyans want and we impose on them our values. Now we are going into government knowing that Amamamboga in Kiambu and Amamamboga in Kitale have as much legitimate expectations and the right to tell us what they want as a bank manager in Nairobi. Two days ago, Your Excellency, a CEO of a big corporation called me and he called me on ordinary line. He has, for the last two years, never called me other than on WhatsApp. And I asked him, what's the problem? Today you are calling me on a different medium. He said, but the president-elect announced that sniffing on our phones is over. And now we are free to make calls without looking over our shoulder. If a person at that high is feeling that way, you can imagine the person who has been traumatized and tormented by the police feels. They now feel liberation is here. So, Your Excellency, as we move on to end, we want to encourage ourselves that we should not rest on the laurels of our victory, that we must, in fact, pay more attention to everything that we were told and this big house called Kenya Kwanzaa. And we want to tell our worthy competitors that you have absolutely no capacity in law, in fact, or under the Constitution to fetter anybody from associating with another. Kenyans fought for this Constitution and engraved in the Bill of Rights and the right to associate with whoever they are. People will make choices. If they are wrong choices, they are their choices. They are not yours. So don't lecture anybody about mundane provisions of the law that are inimical to inconsistency with the Constitution. We, as Kenya Kwanzaa, will uphold the Constitution and we welcome everybody, even those who have been told that they can't leave, just open the Constitution and ask them to show you where it says you can't associate with so and so. And we'll continue growing, but more importantly, we are happy that UDM, Governor Roba, my friend and my neighbor, thank you for thinking wisely because you have not made a bad decision. This is a decision that will make a big difference. In this format, in this setup, you will not look over your shoulder to greet somebody. You will not look over your shoulder to whisper to somebody. And you will not look over your shoulder to make a phone call. You live freely like we expect everybody to do. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. I take this opportunity to say congratulations for leading this pack to victory. Those who are shouting, don't be distracted because the victory you have gotten with us is a victory deserved. You campaigned, you spoke, Kenyans listened to you, Kenyans appreciated what you said, and they were able to make a difference and choose between boys and men, girls and women. And here we are. Thank you. Uh, we are seeing people still living in a serious state of denial a serious state of denial. I don't know whether they have been hypnotized because some are still in a trance and somebody needs to snap their fingers to get them out of that hypnosis because they keep on talking of issues that are literally not there. Let me take this opportunity to welcome our brothers, uh, UDM, your entire team. And I want to assure you that we are so happy to associate with you. A good and courageous decision made yesterday or made today 
or made tomorrow shall remain and be recognized as a courageous decision. So we want to acknowledge that you have made a very courageous decision to come and stand with us and join hands and strengthen us in Kenya Kwanzaa. Asante sana. I want to plead with members of the Fourth Estate. The reality now, and these words are missing in your write-ups, the Kenya Gazette has come out and it has specifically stated that the president-elect is William Ruto. Very few media houses are acknowledging that there's a Gazette notice and they are still hesitating to use the word president-elect William Ruto. Equally, we are seeing a lot of hesitation in acknowledging the reality. Why don't we say the outgoing president, Uhuru Kenyatta? Because he's outgoing. As, and, uh, the only one he's not vacating is the chairman of Azimio. That is what he has said. But the truth is there's a president elect. And the truth is there's an outgoing president. So who is making it difficult for these words? How come the ink is disappearing when this terminology is supposed to be used? I think we owe it to Kenyans to start also bringing them up to speed that the situation has changed and they should start internalizing the change. And it would be so kind to the media if they can help us in start also getting Kenyans eye out of this hypnosis. Let them understand that we are moving forward. For those who are going or who say they want to go to court, that is their constitutional right. But let us also remember that sometimes we should also be realistic because sometimes you may end up groping in the dark. And as somebody told me, or somebody said, sometimes you are groping in the dark looking for a black cat. Groping in the dark looking for a black cat. I don't know whether you will find it. So, as Kenyans, let us snap out of the hypnosis. Let us move forward. The president-elect is Dr. William Samoy Ruto. And the outgoing president is His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta. The Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, as it stands now, is that UDA has 139 legislators, members of parliament, in the National Assembly. So the figures I'm giving first are for the National Assembly. ANC has seven. Ford Kenya has six. UDM, and they're here with us, have seven. TSP has two. Mandeleo Chap Chap has two, Pa has three, CCM has one, NAP Kenya has one, DP has one, and GDDP has one. That is a total of 170 legislators in the National Assembly. In addition to that, let it go on record again that we have 12 independent members of parliament and 10 of them have already met the president-elect and his team and confirmed unequivocally that they shall be working with Kenya Kwanzaa. So that brings us to 180 members of the National Assembly 
working and teaming up as the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Please also note that there are four pending by-elections and you can do your own survey, independent, and you'll realize that it will not be long before the MPs elect in that area beef up the Kenya Kwanzaa numbers. <laughs> then they shall be the nominated members of parliament, 12 in total. Uh, and you will see when you do the mathematics that a very good number of those members of parliament shall also become Kenya Kwanzaa members of parliament. Um, if we move to the Senate, let it also be on record now that UDA has 22 senators. Um, Ford Kenya has one, DP has one, and UDM has two. That brings a total of 26 members in the Senate who are Kenya Kwanzaa. Now, it is not my business to do the mathematics for the other fellows. I will leave that to you. <laughs> <laughs>